Hey Dynamics 365ers, it's Benitez here and today I'm going to show you how you can allow your users to see a list in the format of a calendar. So the scenario is your users are logged into Dynamics portals, they're looking at a web page and they're seeing a list of records. And rather than displaying those list of records as a list, you can change the format so that it can appear as a calendar and there is a no code option available. So let's jump straight into it. So this is my lovely Westeros recruitment Dynamics portal. It is based on Game of Thrones. So in case you haven't seen my earlier vlogs, this is a portal where individuals can apply for a position in one of the seven kingdoms of Westeros. And what you're seeing in front of you right now is a web page where I am displaying um, a custom entity called events and it's calling a view in Dynamics 365 and as you can see this is simply a list of events and in this particular um, custom entity I've got start dates and end dates and things like a location so this is something that would be perfect to be displayed as a calendar on Dynamics portals and there is a no code option on how you can display it as a calendar. So I'm going to navigate to Dynamics 365 and this is my entity list record and within an entity list record there is a tab called calendar view and this is where you can enable the calendar view for an entity list that's being displayed as a web page on Dynamics portals. So I've ticked this check checkbox to set a TS and in here the next bit that you'll see is the entity field mappings and the calendar view will simply display the fields that are related to the mappings defined in here. So the start date and end date will always show values where the field type is of date. So this is why you're seeing date related fields. So I'll select start date and end date. And in terms of the summary and the description and the location fields, these will display single line of text fields. So bear that in mind when you are creating a custom entity and you want it to display it in the calendar view, um, your description field has to be single line of text. It can't be multiple lines of text. So just keep that in mind. Now, in terms of the organizer, I have a look at field where it's set to the kingdom that's organizing it. And then we have the is all day field. So this will be this will show any fields in this custom entity where the field type is two option or boolean. So that's why we're seeing this all day field. And then in terms of the initial view, this is simply a way of how do you want it to appear to the user. So I'm going to select month and then you can set the time zone display mode so I will choose user local time zone and then there's also the style so I'll show you what the full calendar looks like and then we've got different uh, calendar options in here so now when I go to portal and we refresh this web page the list will now load as a calendar Ta -da! and as you can see we now can see the records in the form of a calendar and if you happen to have records that have the same start date then you'll see this um, display the quantity of the events for that date so this is why it's displaying two compared to the other ones that display one. If you want to quickly view information there's this button down here where you will see um, like high level details of it and then when you open the record itself that's where you can load the form and as you can see I've got details of the of the event and in terms of the other views that I mentioned the event list so now if we refresh the portal the view will look different sorry let me clear the cache first oops Okay, so now that we've changed the format from calendar to full event list, you will now see these areas shaded out, and you can see the details over here on the left. 
And for me personally, I feel like the full calendar mode is better because it's more direct to the point. I mean, over here it will show from um, from oldest to newest, and if I refresh the portal again, the full calendar view will show you breakdown of the records on that day. So I'm just waiting for this cache to kick in. Cool. So that's this is going back to the calendar. Okay, so I've shown you a no code option and if you do want to change the look and feel as well as allow a user to download that calendar as an iCalendar event so that it appears in the Outlook, there is a blog that you can look at which I will provide a link to in my blog post so go and check that out. But basically what it will look like is it will appear different so you're not seeing the calendar view you're going to see it as a list and um, there will be an option where you can join the meeting and download the calendar so you can change like the look and feel of a list based on um, using liquid templates which is what Colin describes in his blog post but if you stay tuned for the next uh, vlog that I'll be doing I'll show you how you can use a no-code process to register for the event. And yeah, that is my quick tip for today on how you can enable calendars for an entity list and Dynamics portal so that your users can view records in the format of the calendar. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on my blog, and also don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I'll see you next time. Bye.